you know, for all the talk about Peyton Manning and all the ass kissing that goes on for him, and you know, understandably, some of it deservably so. Now, one thing that doesn't get talked about enough to me is the fact that the Indianapolis Colts really haven't missed him all that much, and they've kind of went about the business at hand, and they're really right back in the same situation. Different quarterback, same type of result. In 2013, proved that out again. They win 11-5. and They won the AFC South. This time they won a playoff game, unlike in 2012. Made it to the divisional round before they got kind of boat raced by LeGarrette Blunt in the New England Patriots. But, you know, you're talking about a franchise with a new franchise piece, a new potentially down-the-road elite quarterback in an Andrew Luck. You're talking about a team that's made the playoffs two straight seasons. Last season they progressed even more. They won a playoff game. Things are looking up for the Indianapolis Colts, and this is a team that at times, to me, especially in the first half of 2013, looked like the best team perhaps in all of the National Football League. Keep in mind, this is a team that beat Seattle. This is a team that beat San Francisco in San Francisco. This is a team that beat Denver. They beat three, mind you, three of the last four teams left in the playoffs last season. And they beat them. Just think about that for a second. And they kind of dominated the 49ers, too. And frankly, they kind of dominated the Denver Broncos, too. So they beat Seattle, San Francisco, and Denver. So that potential is there. The Colts, for a period of time last season, showed what they could be. So I was wondering what they were going to do in the offseason. Uh, they did some things. <coughs> Excuse me. They brought in Arthur Jones from the Baltimore Ravens, which I thought was a huge necessary upgrade for their defensive line in that 3-4 defense. They brought in DeQuell Jackson, which I'm not sure about his fit inside in the 3-4, but it is what it is. They signed Hakeem Nix to kind of like a one-year prove-it deal to add some depth at wide receiver, give Andrew Luck another weapon to work with, and I like that. Uh, in terms of losses, they lost Antoine Bethea in the offseason. They lost Donald Brown in the offseason. Those aren't nice losses to have, but I don't think they're crippling or incredibly detrimental. Although Donald Brown finally, towards the end of the season and into the playoffs, started to show and flash that first round draft pick potential from when he was actually drafted in the first round a few years ago. He actually was finally starting to slowly maybe play up to his draft position, and now he's gone. Now heading into this season, what are some of the strengths of this team? Obviously, you got Andrew Luck. That's a strength. Here's a guy that can do a little bit of everything. Here is a guy that's shown the poise to be able to step up and meet big challenges and put up some big performances when his team needs him. You see that playoff game against Kansas City. It wasn't just Luck. It was Andrew Luck. And, you know, there are other things involved and other things at play. There's no question. But at the end of the day, Andrew Luck in that playoff game showed what he could do. Andrew Luck showed that he can be that guy. And when you have him lining up number 12 at quarterback for your team, you got to feel good about your chances every week. Obviously, they've built around Andrew Luck very nicely. I love the weapons he has on offense. I'm not sure how effective Reggie Wayne is going to be coming off of his ACL injury, but you've still got T.Y. Hilton. You brought in a Hakeem Nix into the fold. You've got a nice tandem at tight end, in my opinion, in Kobe Fleener and Dwayne Allen. You've got some weapons to work with there. So this is a guy named Andrew Luck that, you know, has an offense that can stretch out opposing defense horizontally and vertically. Um, I love the construction of the offense of the Indianapolis Colts in most ways. In terms of some question marks, though, Trent Richardson, here's a guy you're talking about. You gave up a first-round pick in this past NFL draft to get this guy, and frankly, in 2013, once he came to the Colts, he played more like the bum he had played like with the Cleveland Browns. You, know, you gave up a lot, really, frankly, to get this guy. And as a result, you need him to play and play well. And you need him to be the guy that takes some burden and some pressure off of Andrew Luck like an Edgar and James did for so many years for Peyton Manning. I'm not sitting there and saying that Trent Richardson has to be an Edger and James. But he needs to be something. He needs to not be the boo-boo that he's been. I also question the back part of this defense. I'm not particularly a huge fan of their linebacking core. Obviously, losing Robert Mathis for the first four games of the year uh, doesn't help. I think Bjorn Werner is a questionable fit in that 3-4 defense. Um, and their secondary, you know, it, it, they were exposed at times last season. There's no question. If that team can't generate more pass rush than what Robert Mathis brings, which is pretty much what happened to me, 
in 2013, then that secondary really gets exposed and they really struggle to stop people. Uh, looking ahead to their schedule, you know, they've got the AFC North, they've got the NFC East, so they get some benefit there getting to play the NFC East, but then they've also got to play Denver and New England in their AFC Conference matchups, you know, so they get the best of the best, if you will, so the schedule won't do them any big breaks. Uh, some of the keys to success for this team, they need that offensive line to protect Andrew Luck better. They need that offensive line to open up better holes in the running game because, you know, that's another big question mark to me too is you know you have Andrew Luck but they've done a terrible job of protecting him they've done a terrible job I think at times in run blocking over the past couple of years the line in the interior of that line specifically needs to play better they need Trent Richardson to step up and be the guy that they envision when they traded away a first round pick for him they need him to be that security blanket that safety net in the backfield for Andrew Luck and that Colts offense they need their defense to play better they need their secondary to be able to hold up better they need to get more pass rush from Robert than just Robert Mathis. They need a lot of things to happen. But I still think this is one of the better teams in the AFC. I think this is one of those teams that we could be talking about all season as a legit threat in the AFC and possibly be talking about a team that could shock the world and make it to Super Bowl 49. I think they're clearly the class of the AFC South, and I don't even know how that could be questioned at this point. I expect them to at least go 12-4. and four and win the AFC South running away and perhaps have a chance of getting home field advantage uh, at least in the divisional round of the playoffs, get a first round bye and maybe have home field advantage throughout all of the AFC playoffs.